Today, I want to introduce you to the new 244NX Small Compact Auto Scrubber. This unit is perfect for when you need to retire those dirty mopping buckets. It's perfect for small areas, cleans all types of hard surfaces easily and efficiently, leaves the floors cleaner and drier, and again, at the end of the day, it's all about productivity. This unit provides a productivity. So what I'm going to show you today, at the start of this video, is how to assemble it. So at this time, I've got the 244 out of the box already. So you're going to notice the first thing I'm going to do is put the brushes on. Comes with two brushes, or you can get pad drivers. It does come standard with brushes. So we're going to turn the unit around. We're going to flip it the way I'm flipping it here, handle side down. And the first thing I'm going to do, like I said, is put the brushes on. So I'm going to take a brush. The brushes just pop right on. Easy to put the brushes on. You're then going to want to put the squeegee on. The squeegee just clips on. It has a mount on the back that it mounts to. You pick the unit up, turn it back around. And the squeegee itself, you can see it's got the toe pegs here, so you can raise and lower it on the machine. You're just going to take it. It's got two little silver mounts here where the little silver bolts are. And it just clips into its own little area here, easily clips in. You're then going to attach your vacuum hose. So for your, it comes equipped with a P-trap. So I just take it and I clip it in its two clips at the back of the squeegee. Easy. You can see it's got the rollers on the back so it rolls along the floor. We're now going to put the battery in. The 244 is also powered by our latest addition to Nace Care, the new NX300 lithium ion battery. This battery itself fits a whole network of equipment now in our lineup, such as a battery powered backpack, two canister back options, and an auto scrubber called the 516. So this battery can go between all those units, including the 244. The battery itself on the 244 has the ability to be speed charged, so it comes standard with a speed charger, so when the battery is charged, it takes two hours, you'll get 100% of the battery charge, the unit will run for 80 minutes. You can then take the battery off if you want to recharge, recharge it for an hour and you'll get one hour run time. So for one battery, that's a long life of cleaning throughout the facility. The battery itself just sits down in the unit and you're ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is put the solution tank into the dirty water tank. So it sits at the bottom. It's even got a diagram here so you know which way to put it in. It slides into its mount down here and it's locked in play. The dirty water tank also comes with a lid recovery that's easily put upon the unit and sits on the top. You raise it up, put this tank over top of the battery and you're ready to go. So that shows you how to assemble the unit once it's out of the box. We're now going to move on how to operate. The unit, once your brushes and stuff are on and you're ready to go to store it or to transport it throughout a facility, you're going to notice I'm not going to be bent over. I'm not going to be having to handle anything. I'm just going to tilt the handle back. The storage wheel pops out of the front. Everything's raised up in one method of just flipping the machine back. Now you're ready to transport. And for storage, there's no weight on the brushes, so your brushes aren't going to get flat spots. The NX2D44 is equipped also with centrifugally fed brushes, so the water is fed directly into the brushes from its 0.6 gallon tank with a 0.8 gallon recovery tank. So what does that mean to you as I'm using less water also? In eco mode, this unit will do up to 7,000 square feet of coverage of cleanability on one tank. So from a productivity side, it's a very product productive machine in a small, agile, compact footprint. You're going to notice color-coded handles, which is throughout the Nace Care line, and there are touch points for the operator. So these are operator handles, where my fingers are right now. This is the handle release. The yellow button, which is right here, is the start and stop 
which is on most of our NACE care models. On the top of the unit itself, you're going to notice there's two switches and these are plug and play switches. You've got one for the vacuum, one for the water. They both light up when they're operating. And then you've got your battery gauge across the top. So that tells you how much battery life you've got in it. As you come to the back of the unit, you're going to see there's two foot release. One's for the brush, one's for the squeegee. So right now, you're going to see the unit's in park mode. In order to put it in scrub mode, I'm going to lower my squeegee, and then I'm going to come over, I'm going to kick the next one to lower my deck. You kick it upwards, and that lowers your deck. So now the unit is in scrub mode. So in order to operate it in scrub mode, I'm going to bring the handle back to me. You're going to notice some of the features. It's very agile for turning. So if we need to do any work with it in tight turns, very easy to do. The unit pretty well runs itself. It's a pad assist drive, so it'll pretty well pull itself forward. You're going to be able to lock the handle in play when you're coming up. You're going to come up with the handle, push the red button, you'll hear a click. Now the handle's locked, so it's not going to flop around. To operate, we're going to drop it back. You see the battery gauge here. We're going to push the yellow button, grab the balers, the red ones. Very simple, very easy. 44, I've got them in scrub mode. My deck's down, my squeegee's down. I'm going to engage it. So as I've told you, you're going to grab the red handle. You're going to get a battery gauge at the top. When I push the yellow button, which is by my left thumb, the unit's going to start. You can hear the vacuum on. You can see the brushes are turning. I'm going to hold through the spill in aisle five. We can now go out. We can pick it up, much better than a mop bucket. The floors are drier and easier to clean. You can see just how agile the unit is. Okay, so now at the end of your shift, you've used the 244, and I'm going to show you how to operate it, but now we're going to dismantle it as if we're going to clean it up. So the first thing you do is you're going to lift off the dirty water tank, you're going to set it on the floor, you're going to remove the lid, you're going to remove the float ball, always clean the float ball, you're going to remove the tank, the clean water tank, just by sliding it out. You're then going to take the dirty water tank over, dump it into the sink, or toilet, or wherever you're going to dump it, give it a rinse. The chemical itself you don't have to dump every time, because it's always ready to go. You're going to put your float ball back in the tank, you're going to put your lid back on, your battery is going to go off and go into the charger externally and get smart charged. You're then going to take the unit, remove the squeegee, 
just by pulling it off its mounts, removing the vacuum hose, placing your thumbs, your squeegees off. You're going to want to rinse that every night. Make sure you wipe it off. And then to remove the brushes, you're just going to flip the unit down like we did when we assembled it. Okay, so you're going to remove the brushes just by grabbing the bristles and they'll just pop off. So you're going to just grab it and pop them right off. Easy peasy. Just like that. Now we're going to show you how to park it at the end of the shift. So you don't have to flip up any heads or anything, it just parts itself. We're going to put our brushes back on because they're easily stored there. You saw how easy they go on. Brushes are on. We're going to then raise the unit up. The squeegee just pops back into its pocket, onto its own little mount, just like this. It's on. I'm going to come up, turn the unit around. I'm going to put my battery on. Once it's charged, put it on. I'm going to take my dirty water tank that's now clean. I'm going to slide my solution tank back into its pocket. It's popped in play. This just slides over top. Now what's one of the most unique features is I'm just going to tilt it back. You saw that little wheel pop out? Now I'm fully parked. So to store it, it's ready to go. So to park it, You'll see I'm in the downward scrubbing motion. I'm just going to tilt the handle back to me. You're going to hear a pop. That pops out its storage wheel at the front. So now there's no weight on the brushes. The unit's totally agile. I can tilt and I'm ready to go. The unit's stored in your closet. Easy peasy.